fire. <laughs> in the lab, there are ten pairs of glasses. The pairs of glasses may not leave the lab. Without breaking any of the pairs of glasses, put all the pairs of glasses into the smallest of these boxes. You must select your box before leaving the caravan and may not then change your mind. Smallest box containing all the pairs of glasses with the lid shut properly wins. That's nuts! Go. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> pairs of glasses. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. Do you know what I had in my head? Pairs of glasses. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I had that in my head. Yeah, that's more pairs than I thought I'd get. I'm now doing a thing, knowing that it's not going to work out. So a couple of glasses are bigger than the box. Yeah, funnily enough, I'm not going anywhere near those ones, Alex. I've, I've written them off. Yes. So what do you mean by shut? That's shut. Is it? Shut. <laughs> That's shut. Crunched a bit there. That is a goddamn miracle that I did that. Well, you've got six pairs of glasses in there, have you? Not bad. And how do you want the Taskmaster to, to transport the rest? If I was a removal man and then he was there going, well, how do you want me to transport the rest? I'll go, up your ass. <laughs> so I'll to break him. Smallest ass wins. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. You both thought that these are, uh, these are spectacles. I think I made that clear. Oh, you spelt that out good and proper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, these uh, are... Yeah. yeah. But I was expecting... But I was acting a thick person. <laughs> Me too. I was acting a thick person too. Yeah. I enjoyed your reaction immensely, cos you went, Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Yeah. yeah, God. Can't be straightforward, can it? Yeah, of course. We've asked them to bring in the most exciting thing, beginning with G. The person or woman that's brought in the most exciting thing beginning with... <laughs> that's brought in the most exciting thing beginning with G will get five wholesome points. James. Yes. Yeah. So far, the worst round in Taskmaster history. <laughs> can you save it? Pretty sure I can. Gandhi's glasses. <laughs> Do you just get uh, any old glasses and... Uh... I'd nope. say they're his glasses. Did not do that. Those uh, are Gandhi's glasses. Mahatma Gandhi's glasses. The Mahatma Gandhi's glasses. He had a vision for the world and he was given vision by those glasses. It does say on the internet that Gandhi's glasses sold in 2009 for 1.8 million. Oh, OK. <laughs> Over the years, they've gone down in value. <laughs> it, it seems they're just an old pair of glasses and a lot of... <laughs> Hello, James. Hula. <laughs> Hula. 
You have one minute. Your time starts now. I've never been able to loop. Oh, oh. oh, that's all right. It's okay. That. Ow! Hurts. Hurts. This is the first. Oh <laughs> boy. Thank you. Improve your hooling. Greatest improvement wins. You have until the studio shows. The time starts now. Are we basically saying that James has got to do more than six seconds to win this task? Well, it depends how many more seconds than 57 Wang does. And let's see how they do right now. You have one attempt at this. Oh. When I blow my whistle, please start hoolering. Greatest improvement wins. <laughs> Hula. <laughs> I've been practicing so much. I've been practicing so much. I'm really good at it. I'm really good now. Well, I'm really good. I got now. I got nervous, I'm really good now. I got really good. I mean, it is, it is impressive, isn't it? It's such a shame we've got to take his first attempt. <laughs> Wouldn't just take his second attempt, I would suggest. Which was spectacular. Them is the rules, I'm afraid. Hi, James. something out of the hole in the roof of this grotto. Least expected thing poked through wins. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. Time starts now. Right. I know what it's going to be. OK. But these guys had to stop filming me. You want me to call the cameras off? All the cameras off. This is going to be unexpected. <laughs> Fun's over. Right, I'm ready. The cameras are back on, James. Film is back on. This is genius. Only advice I can give the taskmaster for this one: expect the unexpected, baby. Can you tell him that? You want me to to expect the unexpected, baby? Okay. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Honest, you get extra points for a song? No. Nope. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that beautiful song. I'll be honest, as soon as I was holding my pants on a stick, I genuinely went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give us a bit more? Of pants on a stick? Pants on a stick, <laughs> waving from side to side, my pants on a stick. Whose pants? My pants, your pants, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice song. Nice song. Hello, James. <laughs> Draw the biggest and best circle. Biggest and best circle wins. Your circle must be completed in one single sweep. So I'm like a... You want me to be an enormous human compass? Oh, OK. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Right. I'm going to go outside. You all coming? I know what I'm going to do. You know what you're going to do? I'm going to cycle round in circles on the bike while spinning this round my arm. OK, well, you've got one go of this. Good luck. Yeah, well, good luck to you. This is how you sweep a circle. You ready? Yes. Still doing it. And look where I landed. Near a, in a circle. Near a circle. How many circles have been involved in this so far? There's those wheels are already circular. This was going in circles around me, that's a circle. I landed in the circle. It's not most circles. Huh? The biggest and best circle. <laughs> yeah, but you add them all up together. You should add them all up. I'll add them all up. And then that's that's the that's the task. That was the real task. OK. Thank you, James. I really enjoyed your circles. Thank you, Alex. Goodbye.
Good evening. <laughs> okay, explain yourself. I thought. You, you thought, I've been told I should draw the biggest circle, yes. but what I'm going to do is ride around aimlessly on a bike <laughs> whilst badly spinning a hula hoop, and then I'm going to crash, accidentally <laughs> notice there's another circle <laughs> before, and try and claim that as part of my attempt. That's my reading of what I saw. Have you got anything different to add? My eyes are circles. <laughs> Hello, James. Compose the best 30-second piece of music. The best? Yes, please. Oh, yes. Play it to my hands here, mate. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. I'm a percussionist myself. <laughs> if you think of a stick, such a well, OK. You're not a musician, mate. Um... <laughs> What's that guy? It's a melodic. Oh, let's have a go at that. Well, that's staying. <laughs> uh, another one of your catchphrases coming out there. Some of the others you've used throughout the series. Bebe, I'm punk, suck it. Just so you know. Let's see. This is a little bit more decorum when you write music. OK, we're going to see someone who has genuinely been in these bands. Pin drop, three line whip. The new hardcore skiffle movement, the Capri Sun Quartet, and the WOW scenario. Yes, <laughs> it's James Acaster. <laughs> With Clunt Stump, and this song is called Over My Shoulder. <laughs> Over my shoulder! Older and older! That's what I told you! Over my shoulder! I'm getting colder! Is that a boulder? Can we uh, dig down into what the lyrics are about? Because I know what the spirit of punk is all about. Yeah. Not conforming, not fitting in, not being told to do by the yeah. man upstairs. That's how you got to look over your shoulder your whole life. Yeah. Because you never know who's sneaking up on you. Yeah. You can't trust no one. And that's why I sing over my shoulder, older and older. That's what I told you. Mm. <laughs> but then, then you started getting cut. You said, I'm getting colder. I'm getting colder. I'm getting colder. Mm. And then you wondered if something was a boulder or not. Is that a boulder? <laughs> Yeah. Is that a boulder? <laughs> well, is that a metaphor for what? Like, is that a boulder? Yeah. Or is it a big rock? We're going to start with a prize task, and today's category is to bring in the most confusing thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you, Lord Davis, will judge whose thing is the most confusing. The one with the most confusing thing will max out on points for this section. At the end of the episode, the winner will take home loads of things to get all befuddled by. That's how it works. <laughs> uh, James A. Custer, what did you bring in that's confusing, and why will it confuse me? A DVD of The Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who you spoke to about The Matrix has gone, I can't wrap my head around it, man. Try and watch The Matrix, man. <laughs> are you, are... Who are these two of these people? My parents. <laughs> 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 but it's the thing, right? It's like saying this isn't reality, there's a different reality. And you're plugged into The Matrix and you're a machine. Or are you a machine? You're not a machine, you're imagining stuff. And people don't know what The Matrix is about well, and figure James, out what it means. I haven't seen The Matrix, but from what you've just said, yeah. my understanding is the people in The Matrix think they're existing in one reality, Yes. but in fact it turns out they're plugged into machines and they're experiencing an entirely different reality. Greg, can you go back to the beginning? I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Phil, my confusing thing is a confusing little box that you can't open, but you can. You want to give it a go? Confusing little box. It's going to be good old telly, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just open the box, you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> from. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that came from. I just got impatient. <laughs> How was that one? I'm sorry, I, I, I got over... I thought no, that no, was no, no, it's all right. in my head. I thought it was in my head. <laughs> oh, I've just taken charge of the box. If I'd been there for 20 minutes or so, I would have understood you getting irritated, but I still yep. wouldn't have expected you to use that sort of language. <laughs>
That's, uh, you apologise and we'll leave it there. Very sorry. That's all right. <laughs>